this vehicle was a conversion of a vehicle that we've had in the market for quite some time. So it was important that you know, beyond just uh, the exterior refreshments that we also started to, to bring the technology inside of the vehicle uh, up to date. Being a human factors engineer, we're always looking at it in terms of how does the customer use their vehicle. So when they approach it from the outside, already what information can we provide? So we have a smartphone application that's available where they can get range information on their phone. They can understand if they may need to charge it. When you approach the car and open the door, the three high resolution displays immediately turn on. If we take the climate control, for example, we have uh, touch sensitive controls, which allows people to very quickly uh, make adjustments to their temperature or their air conditioner. And the feedback we provide in the display, uh, for example, the temperature, it kind of scrolls up and down in a very aesthetically pleasing fashion, like you would see on a smartphone device. Uh, if we consider the navigation screen, it's a capacitive type screen which allows you to do kind of flicking gestures to go through lists, just like you've experienced on a smartphone or a tablet. An eight inch screen allows us to show uh, you know, a larger map. We can show driving range with uh, your current vehicle battery level. When we adjust between kind of our sport and normal driving mode, we can kind of give that little emphasis that people know they're in a sportier mode. So we can change the background color of the displays, as well as the ring around the speedometer to give it a little punch when they're in sport mode and change the color to red. Um, the vehicle's max speed also increases. I mean, driving the vehicle, it's, it's, you know, it's much different than I've ever experienced with a, with a, with a gas-powered uh, vehicle. The instantaneous torque, stepping on the accelerator, and, and the input you put to the accelerator is what you get out of the vehicle. So it's a great experience. It's uh, something that I think car enthusiasts will love, uh, you know, because uh, it, it just it really provides this power and performance that, you, that people really, I don't think, would expect out of an electric vehicle. We tried to make the ride and handling match the aggressive performance that the, the electric vehicle is capable of. We wanted to maintain good direct feel on, through the steering wheel on uh, high speed. And we wanted that steering, that precision, and uh, kind of very direct connection to the road. Greg talked about making this vehicle fun to drive. And part of that driving experience has always been the audible response that you get from the vehicle. Electric vehicles are, uh, to some extent, uh, much quieter. We don't have the combustion that goes on in, in, inside of, a, of the engine, but they bring a different level of noise. The low noise that they might provide on, for example, highway is offset by the fact that now other noises that might be found throughout the vehicle become more apparent. But specific to them, they also have their own signature of sound, if you will. And it was important for us to define uh, that driving experience. When you drive, for example, a sports car, that throttle, that throttle exhaust note is almost as important as the, the power that you feel uh, down at the wheel. And um, for us, that was a, a challenge. That was something that we hadn't really deeply considered. And, and how do we do that? Do we want it to be ex you know, silent? Um, we talked about that. And, and frankly speaking, when you drive a vehicle that's silent, it's it's a bit eerie, especially at first you're expecting some sort of audible response. We really had to start thinking for the first time, what is the right sound an EV should make? So on this particular vehicle, we set what the EV sort of noise signature should be. And that was something that, uh, you know, going into the project, I don't think that was on our radar initially, but something that, you know, as we think about a vehicle, as we think about a comprehensive, uh, sophisticated vehicle, it's important that you provide that sort of, you know, sense to it. And when you talk about making a vehicle not just a piece of equipment that gets you to and from, but something from which you can derive some enjoyment. It's fun to drive, it's exciting to drive. That's a very, very important part.